Hello, hello, hello there. How are you? Welcome to Biotechnica's What to Earn, How to series. My name is Shekhar Suman and today we are covering Unit 4 of CSANet. All right, before we get started, how are you? How are things at your end? How is the preparation? I'm very good to know. So let me know in the comment section. I'm sure a lot of bloodshed is going on. Questions, 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 right? I know one thing for sure that all the students who are watching this show are highly talented, highly motivated, and they're going to make it this time. And if that has to happen, then I want to pass on the best of the tips, the best of the tricks, and that too from the best of the experts which Biotechnica has got. So today we're going to talk about Unit 4, and today in our show, I would like to welcome Shamrata Ma'am. Shamrata Ma'am, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, namaskar and welcome to the show. This is a weekly show where we uh, you know, discuss what to and how to about different units of CSI and Gate and various other entrance exam. And today I am so much honored to have you on board. So a bit about Shamrata Ma'am, guys. Uh, so first time, my first, first personal interaction with her was when we were on an office trip to a hill station called Kulk. And that's where I saw how sharp she is. She was able to recognize the flora, fauna, and whatnot. I was mesmerized and amazed. And then as a very good student, I approached her and said, Ma'am, tell me how, what exactly motivates you to know all this. Like, okay, you just look at a plant and you know the taxonomic name. Like, wow. And then she told me something which I remember whole of my life. She said that if you are passionate about something, then no amount of no amount of hurdle can stop you. And that line I have imbibed in myself till date. And today I'm so honored to have her. So, ma'am, uh, let's get started quickly with our show. And uh, I would like to start today's show in a different way. I want to ask you, if you were a student in 2022 and you were asked to prepare for CSANet, how would you approach Unit 4 of CSANet? Over to you, ma'am. Well, Unit 4 is a very important topic, so I wouldn't have ever missed it. I would have studied each and every subunit over there. And uh, definitely while studying, I would have prepared some short notes in bullet form or in a tabular form or in a flow chart because that is how we can easily recognize, easily memorize the thing. Uh, so when it comes to this particular unit, just before the show, you were telling me that it's a fusion of various things like cell biology, immunology. So when we are preparing, uh, how, how, how should we approach this unit? How should we study this unit? So this is a mixture. First, we have a section from pathology, which is a host parasite interaction. And okay. then we have a part from the cell biology, which is comprising of cell signaling, cancer, and cell communication. And mm -hmm. then we have that immunology, three parts. Right. So we have right. to uh, subdivide this section in three things. Like for okay. example, we will start with, like I as a student, I will start from cell signaling because that is the most fundamental part. And it is going to be helpful if you study this. And from every section, you have to study cell signaling. Uh, like no matter what kind of uh, topic you choose for PhD, Cell signaling mm -hmm. is a fundamental thing. Okay, right. so I will one by one from there. I will complete that. Then I will go for cell uh, communication and then for cancer. Now the okay. best thing more is if we study mm -hmm. cell signaling. As I said, this is already fundamental. Cell mm -hmm. communication is also a very fundamental thing. All right. Right. And right. cancer, if you study that, we can link with a uh, unit from uh, the cell cycle part from unit two. So mm -hmm. if I can amalgamate all these uh, interconnected topics, then that will give me a better picture. And a okay. better picture will always help me to understand this unit more uh, clearly. And it will also mm -hmm. help me to recognize more clearly. So this is a unit okay. which I can come with other units. And that uh, definitely the students also should be. All right. Regarding so, immunology, immunology mm -hmm. itself, is a very fast unit, so take them separate. 
that will be possible. Okay. okay. All right. So, ma'am, uh, when it comes to the uh, question, number of questions and scores, like how scoring is this unit and how many marks questions will come in part B and part C, if you could, could throw some light on that. Yes. In total, uh, we get questions, four to five questions from part B and similarly four to five questions from part C. Overall, if okay. I compare part B and part C together, if I take, then mm -hmm. uh, almost eight to nine questions come from here. Now, if I oh, subdivide right. that question, yes, it's nine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are very scoring also. Now, if I subdivide, okay. maximum question comes from cell signaling and cancer. And obviously, okay. we almost comes in a connection with other unit as well. So, you know, right. as I already mentioned, connecting two units together will always help us in solving the question okay. also in understanding the concept. Less number okay. of questions uh, comes from host parasite interaction and cell communication. And okay. one or two questions comes from immunology. That is how the part, yes. How is okay. Okay. Okay, so when, when we look at the overall unit, is there something which we can actually skip it? Uh, post parasite interaction can be skipped because we don't often okay. get questions from there. We do get, but not that often. Post parasite. Okay. Right, right. So we can actually completely skip host parasite inter interaction and still stay safe with your preparation. Okay. Yes, Wonderful. Okay. So, okay. So uh, if we try to, um, you know, analyze the previous question papers of CSI and it, and like you said, up to nine questions are coming from this particular unit. And definitely that means we cannot skip uh, this particular unit. But when it comes to the entire unit on a uh, you know level of priority, which are the top five topics which we must never skip and we must have an in-depth you know, knowledge about, if you could tell us about that. All the topics that is mentioned in cell signaling. That is very, very important. Starting from the different okay. kinds of receptors to their second messengers, all mm -hmm. those signals part is very, very important. Next all is right. cancer. Cancer, mm -hmm. the entire unit is very important along with apoptosis and cell uh, cycle. It's very important. Okay. Okay. And uh, right. definitely cell communication as well, like cell to cell, the matrix, uh, uh, the addition mm -hmm. molecules. These things. Right. Wonderful. So, okay. Okay. So, uh, what are the main reference book we should uh, refer? Of course, we can refer to Biotechnica study tools and bo books we have. But apart from that, what are the reference book, like standard reference book we should go for for this particular unit? Yes. For a host parasite interaction, uh, immunology, Prescott, that is the best. Uh, sorry, not immunology. Okay. Uh, microbiology by Prescott, that is the best microbiology. book. Microbiology. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Microbiology okay. by Prescott. For okay. immunology, That's... immunology by QB, that is QB. the best book. Okay. Okay. So Prescott for and QB. Cell, for the two different sections. Now, for the mm -hmm. cell validation that we have, cell signaling, cancer, and cell communication, Albert is the best book. Albert, we Lose can follow. Albert's? Yes. Bruce and Bruce and Okay. Bruce and Okay. All right. So Apart there are three books. Cooper and all. Cooper. Okay. So these are the mainly three to four books which uh, you would recommend the students they must study and have the in depth knowledge about. But which one um, among these you think is the best, like which covers most of the topics from the, for this unit? Uh, no. See, there, as I already mentioned, there are basically three different sections in this unit. Sections. Right, right. So I have <clears throat> mentioned the book according to the section. Section. So, okay. so there's nothing. The okay. Yes. Right. So when we look at this uh, particular unit, does it help us also in preparing for DBT, GATE, ICMR, and other entrance exams? What's your take? Absolutely. Absolutely. Cell signaling, okay. uh, cancer, cell communication, uh, even immunology. These are common mm -hmm. topics for all the other uh, entrance exams. All the other entrances. Right. So these are very fundamental topics. Mm -hmm. Like how you can skip biochemistry, it is very fundamental. Transcription is very fundamental. These topics are also okay. very fundamental. Okay, so definitely, if we target this unit, we are also you know studying for other entrance exams as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
Now, if someone wants to do PhD in um, any of these topics, right? How do you th uh, how scopic are these topics according to you in future for their PhD? Well, cancer. Everyone knows there is a a huge avenue everywhere in every lab. There is at least one or two guys who is researching on mm -hmm. cancer. It is a hot topic right now. Apart from that, cell signaling uh, communication. If anyone is uh, studying cancer, doing the research on cancer, there also they will be requiring cell signaling and cell communication. If they are doing okay. immunology, there also they will be requiring cell signaling, cell communication. So no matter which topic they choose for their PhD, uh, the mm -hmm. other two topics, cell signaling and all, this is mm -hmm. it, it's the, it will be required. The knowledge of it and mm -hmm. immunology that is also a, a obviously a very hot topic especially after the covid everyone right. is now aware of this term immunology and immune system so a lot of research going on with all these diseases and all so okay. there are separate right. institute for immunology as well right so definitely if one wants to take their unit four studies forward it's like a huge scope in future right yes. right OK, so uh, now, ma'am, if uh, a student has to make notes for this topic, because you know every unit is different, every unit, unit's approach is different. So when we are making notes for this particular unit, what should be our approach? How should we make our notes? First and foremost, I am strictly against any paragraph format notes. This okay. is not going to work here. Any right. bullet format notes or best will be the flowcharts. So biotechnical right. itself has got many flowcharts which are very right. helpful. So I will recommend the students to uh, go through those flowcharts, the concept lights which we have all prepared. So uh, like keeping this revision uh, thing in mind. So those are the things which are going to help here because there are very small, small topics. And of course, if you want to fall in love with cell signaling and immunology and all these units, then you have the right true guru right in front of you, Shamrita Ma'am, and many other true gurus of Bhai. Absolutely, it will help because uh, this unit is connected. Like, uh, if we consider four A part, unit four party that is connected with unit nine, part E. Now, part B is connected to unit five and also unit four uh, E, which is immunology, and unit okay. five is Dev Bhai. So like that way, unit uh, part C that is connected to uh, 4D also, mm -hmm. and 4D, which is cancer, that is connected to 2D, which is cell cycle. Then uh, immunology part, that is 4E, that is connected with uh, the immunoassays, which is there in unit 30, part B. It's so uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, like the student also, I faced a challenge in uh, keeping all these uh, topics in mind. So much of information is here in this uh, unit. So it really became difficult to, you know, to recollect, to memorize and all. So what I did as a student was I made some notes in pointer format, in tabular format, in flowchart format. Because uh, that time I did not have Biotechnica, unfortunately. I wish I had Biotechnica that time. Right. So, uh, yes. So, uh, now what Biotechnica has done, this uh, flow charts, concept light and all, uh, this we all did, keeping those hurdles in mind. So, those are highly recommended for the student. Because I, as a student, I found those flow charts, the tabular formats, uh, to be very helpful in you know memorizing and recollecting all those topics mm -hmm. so that is how uh, one should approach this unit okay then okay. diagram format also. Okay. 
my question favorite will be from a uh, sales signaling where they used to ask of uh, like which is the receptor if this is happening they will give a pathway and from there they are going to ask what is that pathway if we remove an intermediate a messenger or, or intermediate form from that pathway then how it is going to affect this is a type of question that keeps on repeating and uh, for that to answer these question you have to have a very clear idea about the pathway and what is the function of each and every uh, messenger and each and every uh, product that is being formed who is triggered great pattern well i want to tell them do not skip this topic at all and revise it at least once every week at least once i know there are a lot of topics to revise and you find it quite difficult to revise all the topic but at least keep one day for this and especially when you are revising this topic i am emphasizing on this point connect this topic with the all other related units form a larger picture like one example i will say students study transcription replication as separate unit and then they study signaling as separate and then they study a uh, cell cycle as separate but you can simply connect this topic have you ever thought that transcription is initiated we have studied the transcription factors how they initiate transcription and everything but what is that element which is uh, telling to transcribe this particular gene that is nothing but the cell signaling part there was a ligand there is a receptor which is passing on the message for this particular gene to start transcription so see it is connected if you mm -hmm. can connect this thing trust me it is going to help you to recollect all the units together it is going to save time for your revision and also in the question like if you uh, go through the questions these days they are all connected topics that's why your question you find it difficult you say you can't uh, you can't understand but if you analyze it they are connecting the units together so if you do it in this way it will also help you to understand the past six questions better so practice question revise it at least once a week definitely and as i told you revise or uh, use these flow charts the diagrams the tables these things to revise it is going to save time and of course help in your and lastly i want to see all the best students uh students there you have it my dear subscribers of biotechnica just like a true guru shamrata ma'am came all the way in gave us a complete picture complete clarity about unit 4 and told us what to do what not to do how to do what to do but remember the baton is now in your hands you have to study you are going to study in the right way the path which ma'am has shown and of course if you want to fall in love with cell signaling and immunology and all these units then you have the right true guru right in front of you shamrata ma'am and many other true gurus of biotechnica are right here to guide you mentor you so don't forget to subscribe to biotechnica's youtube channel and if you want to prepare in a serious manner then you got there you have to join biotechnica for your csnet preparation so this was this week's how to and what to series thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week with more insights on unit 5 and beyond till then stay tuned see you in the next one till then take care bye bye